What well, I've gone guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Bald and Refap, coming at you today's video, which is Fish Room Thursdays, vlog number two. So, if this kind of content interests you, do me a humongous favour please, and swipe up. You'll see my logo appear down here. Hit the subscribe button. That way, you get to see all the weird and wonderful stuff that we're getting up to in the fish room. Um, for those of you that are returning, welcome back my people. So it is another week in the fish room. Today is Friday. I've just placed my delivery with ALF, which is one of my aquatic distributors. Um, so next week we've got tanks, filters, heaters, um, bog woods. We've got foods, loads of different foods coming down. Uh, got a tank on there as well. So it's gonna be absolutely insane. Um, but let me give you a quick little spin rounds and I'll show you the store. So I need to go ahead today and water change all of the vats. Uh, from the Friday Night Live, don't forget that obviously we had all of the new ornaments come in. So you've got different little fishes that you can hand paint yourself. We've got the Japanese pagodas, um, sorry, the Japanese lanterns, uh, which if you take the lid off, you can get a tea light in there. Uh, and those are 20 quid each. Um, we've got loads of these coming down. We've also got some uh, big tall ones as well. We've got the Buddhas, we've got the painted fish, all stupidly, stupidly cheap. We have got the uh, big Japanese koi as well. <coughs> we've also got the, uh, the bonsai aquascape that we're doing, which is absolutely booming into life now. You guys haven't actually seen this one yet. This is actually with a week's worth of growth. Uh, we've got the reef tank, um, so that's all been cleaned down, so the reef restoration, again, you guys haven't seen that video as of yet. Uh, breeding wise, let me plug the light in. So the angelfish haven't actually spawned as of yet. So there's the big male there at the back, and we've just got some guppies in there at the minute. Where's the female? There she is hiding there, just behind the back of that leaf. Um, unfortunately, the eggs of the German Blue Rams are infertile, but it is the first time these guys have spawned, so we are going to go ahead and reset that. Uh, and the guppy fry are absolutely flying along. Um, so far, the bubble nest is still going. If it'll focus, no, there you go, you can just about see it now. Uh, so the bubble nest is still going for the gouramis. So, Mal's doing a little bit of chasing there. And the Crevensis, uh, again, still haven't spawned as of yet. My friend Oggy came down and brought me a load of these uh, Pleco spawning caves. So, what we've done is we've just left a little bit of a hole there at the front so the Crevensis can go ahead and lay down there if they need to. We've also left a little bit of a slate at the back, which you can just about see the female Crevensis popping her head up on there. Uh, I've got an order of fish coming in this week on this video, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, the angelfish are doing tremendously well. Let me flip the lights on for these and I'll show you them. So we've got the uh, M Protectress. Uh, in there now, absolutely incredible fish. Gassy's Koi Pond, again, channel link above. I actually went ahead and purchased some of these off maybe the week. Uh, and then we've got the Bulgarian Seal Point Angelfish, and we've also got the Manakapura Redback Angelfish as well. Uh, just need to give this tank a bit of a vac out today. Uh, we've got some guff guppies on methylene blue, so they're just about to finish their treatment. So these guys are due a water change to get that meth blue out. And then we'll put a little bit of activated carbon in the tank as well, which in turn will um, suck up any more of the meds that are in there. But these guys are back to being fighting fit. We've got the pearl danios uh, with a subwasa tang in there. We've got the golden danios with obviously all of the moss in there. Uh, keep checking every single day for eggs but I'm yet to see any on there. And again, we've got some Subwasa Tang in there. Uh, I've got the Zebra Danios, which are always going wild. And again, an awful, awful lot of moss in there. Uh, and again, it's just a matter of checking it every single day to see if there's any eggs. If I do see any eggs, we'll go ahead and pull it. Uh, white cloud mountain minnows and the normal, um, sorry, we've got albino white cloud mountain minnows and we've got the normal ones. Uh, still got some uh, Corydoras. 
and we've got the bronzes and we've got the stir boards as well but we have got a fair few tanks that are empty so what i'm actually going to be going ahead and doing today is i'm going to move these tetras i'm going to move these tetras i'm going to move the orange mollies i'm going to move the cherry bobs and we're actually going to start refilling these back aquariums for the ones that are empty and then we'll start moving down for when the fish order comes so stick around for that one because it's going to be a fantastic fish order um but let me snap back to you after the weekend Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll turn this on. I'll give you a quick little uh, snap of this. So I'll just turn my lights on. So six foot tank is doing tremendously well. Still yet to have a water change on here. Uh, the readings are absolutely spot on. Um, it's doing tremendously, tremendously well. Uh, but yeah, doesn't need a water change. We're still only running one pump on here at the moment. The plant so are just starting to take a bit of a, uh, a spurt in growth now, which is fantastic. Uh, some of the plants that people said would wilt back haven't. Um, so they are thriving. As you can see, there's new leaves growing down and all that kind of stuff as well. So it's fantastic. Uh, Estelle hasn't given birth as of yet. So watch this space for that one. Hopefully we'll have some fry in the tank in the not so distant future. And hopefully we'll be able to add in a few more uh, fish on the next fish delivery. Uh, I've put a freezer in. Uh, so my mate Nigel that's now moved up to Georgie Land. Uh, we've gone ahead, he actually uh, gave me his old chest freezer. So this is now frozen in there. So I can actually go ahead and put all of my frozen foods in there and I can repackage some up because obviously we do the five for 12 pound or 10 for 20 pound, including free postage on any of your tropical frozen foods. Um, we've just got a little bit of uh, cichlid sticks and tropical flake in at the moment. There is an awful lot more stuff coming down. Like I say, I have placed quite a large order with ALF, so that's going to be interesting. So again, we'll do an unboxing of all the dry goods that are coming in as well. But let me get through the weekend, and I'll snap match on Tuesday when it's delivery time. Let's go! What a weekend! Thank you ever so much for all the love and support that you guys have given me. It's been absolutely insane. Had Monday off. Uh, Tuesday has now arrived. Um, there is no... Uh, delivery today it is delayed um so it's going to be here tomorrow which is wednesday um so literally the day before you guys are due to see this video and the fish delivery is due on uh wednesday afternoon as well so that's going to be a super duper interesting one um fantastic the raffle that we did so dale clark won uh, the three japanese koi um absolutely incredible amount of love and support we went ahead we raffled off another two koi um which was absolutely superb uh, for people to be able to win such high-end koi um for 10 pound that we raffled them off for so that was absolutely insane and incredible uh we've been accepted as a hana distributor so for the hana test kits uh i already mentioned it on the live and i've already got five orders for it as well and we are also going to be doing the full hana range as a giveaway uh well i say as a giveaway sorry as a raffle on the friday night live we're gonna have fish foods as a giveaway we're gonna have tanks as a giveaway we're gonna have more koi as a giveaway it's gonna be absolutely insane and absolutely incredible and i for one can't wait however Today's Tuesday, I need to tidy up the shop and let me snap back to you tomorrow or when the delivery's arrived. Let's go. So here we go, first delivery of the new shop of all the dry goods. And yes, we have got some of Hugo Kamichi's stuff. So the chap's just bringing them all round now. So we've got the first lot dropped off down there. Let me snap back to you in a second though when it's all here. We'll go ahead and unbox it. Okay, Wednesday's here, shot's been tidied, let's go. I've moved the fish off the table for the time being because we've just had the first dry goods delivery uh, dropped off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open some of the boxes, just make sure all my stuff is here, and then we're gonna do a reveal as we go through uh, on all of these. But it's gonna be something you wanna stick around on. There's the aquarium that's got delivered, which I'll take you over to that one in a second. Um, but yeah, let me snap back to the second once I've opened some of these boxes down because I've not got my tripod with me today, so it's going to be very difficult to do it on my own. Um, but I'll come back to you shortly. Let's go. Okay, so first thing, excuse the state of my hands, I've just literally got back in from this being unboxed this morning. As you can see, it's now dark outside. I've been fixing the brakes on the Kia. However, just thought I'd show you everything that has arrived. So I've got a one kilo of Tropical Flake uh, by Hugo uh, Kamishi to be used uh, for some of the fish in the store. I have got over 58 aquarium nets. 
The reason why you may be thinking, Jack, why do you have 58? It's very simple. For our biosecurity, each tank will have its own individual net. They will not be mixed up because we run on centralized. We, we don't run on a centralized system. Everything is an individual system. So I want to keep the biosecurity at an absolute maximum. Uh, we've got some King British Methylene Blue. So for any of you guys that are following our breeding series along, you can also jump in on there. We've got some white spot control and we've also got some swim bladder control as well. We've got a load of different bogwoods. Uh, these ones are the medium sized pieces. So as you can see, there is a whole host of different bogwoods to choose from. I mean, look at the detail on that, insane. And we've got the large pieces of bogwood as well. And these are large as well, may I add. Like really large, just to put it into context. That's my hand double the size um so yeah again some super duper intricate interesting pieces um we've got some hugo kamishi decorative substrate in the sand and white we also have it in the black as well fully inert substrate so you can load this with all of your own plant nutrients and stuff like that talking of plant nutrients we also have some root tabs um we also have water conditioner and we also have the api freshwater master test kit that we're going to be doing as well <coughs> now on to the good stuff on to the good stuff we've got an awful lot of these uh sinking pellets for your catfish uh it's not just for your catfish and your corridors though it's for all middle and middle and bottom feeders Supports clear and clean water and it's high in antioxidants as well. Uh, fantastic shelf life on these. Uh, so these run to Feb 2023. Um, but absolutely insane these are. We use these an awful, awful lot in the store. And we've also got a load of algae wafers as well. Whether it be for your shrimp, whether it be for your corridoras, whether it be for your herbivores, or whether it be for your plex. Uh, let me move all those bad boys out of the way. Let me shuck them in the other box for you. I've also got some new shelving coming down to the store. So I was speaking to Pops and we've come up with an ingenious method. Uh, aquatic plant growth food. Uh, we also have some ammo locks. If any of you guys have your uh, freshwater aquariums, your tropical aquariums and you're struggling with ammonia issues, come on in store. Uh, this stuff eradicates ammonia straight away and makes it... Um, non-harmful to fish. We've also got some API leaf zone, which promotes aquarium plant growth, uh, which is like a water column fertilizer for any of your Anubias, Java ferns, and also for your um, planted plants as well that go into the substrate. So we've got three bottles of ammo lock. We've got three bottles of leaf zone as well. There's another ammo lock. There's another one I'm looking for. Here you go, uh, API quick start. So whether it is for reef aquariums or tropical aquariums, it allows instant addition of fish, limits toxic ammonia and nitrite, helps prevent fish loss as well. These are super duper good to have on hand for water changes or anytime you are adding in new fish to your aquarium because it increases the beneficial bacteria that's in your water column, which in turn gives your filters that boost that you need. Uh, we've got the smaller tropical flakes um, by King British. We've got the medium tropical flakes by King British. Again, all these foods we use in the store. And we've also got the large tropical flakes by King British. We've also got your algae wafers for your plex, uh, catfish, uh, full of spirulina and vitamin C. Uh, again, got a fair old few different sizes of those. There was a deal on on those. So again, you guys know I'm going to be putting them on offering store. And we've also got some catfish pellets as well. Um, what else did we get? What else did we get? Uh, we got some uh, Hugo Kamishi sponge filters. Those are for a client that's coming in store. And we also had the aquarium that was up on there a little bit earlier on today. So that's that. Let me go ahead now and go ahead and get the fish order, which is due to arrive in tomorrow. I need to go home though and shower. So next time you see me, I'm going to be all sparkly clean. Let's go. Okay, so it's not just fish stuff that we do. I'm actually in the office for once today. So bacon, sausage, putty, Dr. Pepper, loads of emails. And we've got the man, the myth, the legend himself, 
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Adam Howard. I'm gonna have to blur that out now. I'm gonna have to blur that out now. This video is Fish Room Thursday, so it's a week in the life of the Balding Reefer. Do you wanna be on my YouTube video? So, say hello, so this is this is a fantastic marketing team. And then we've got we've got Laura over the back. Do you want me on my YouTube video, Laura? Do you want... oh, there you go. So that's per that's head of purchasing. Uh, the gaffer's nodding. He's swanned off to London for the day. Um, but I guess I better get some work done. See you back in the fish room. Okay, so another day. It's now Saturday. Um, day after the three hour, 15 minute live stream. Uh, we've been battered by the storms. So I just thought I'd quickly show you the beautiful view I've got today. So, snow's coming down, really thick flakes, looking beautiful. God, I love the part of the country where we live. It's insane. Um, snow off my head and my buddy. Uh, especially we're going rock climbing with the kids later on today. So that should be pretty fun. So I'll get some of that on video for you as well. Um, and yeah, today is all about, obviously the store's open. Um, so my normal routine when I come in every morning, flick all the lights on, walk around, have a look at the tanks, uh, check the Danio side of things to see if there's any eggs in there or anything like that. But unfortunately, there is not. Um, but we've uh, just had the meeting with Jacob um, on Friday, which was all of the Happy Shrimp House Limited products. Uh, and we signed an exclusivity agreement with Qualdrop. So Qualdrop specialises in all things shrimp related. So I've got some new shrimp uh, tanks coming down. We've got all the shrimp additives, all the soils and all that kind of stuff. So we need to go ahead and get them cycled and them set up. Uh, my plant's growing as well. So my plant's booming. Uh, we're now up to two and a half extra rungs. Um, all I do is I get a little bit of vat water and then go ahead and sip it into the bottom of the plant. Relatively simple. Uh, we've got the new Japanese ornaments. So these have all got to go up on the website today. I've got to take pictures of them, pictures of these, pictures of the koi. We've got some small crocodiles here and I've also got a crocodile coming that's bigger than the table. So it's going to be absolutely insane. But I brought uh, some breakfast stuff up with me. Because, oh, uh, little live hack by the way. Hot cross buns with bacon is going to be, oh, they're insane, they're incredible. Uh, I've also borrowed Victoria's um, coffee thing as well. And I have this, which is another uh, Japanese koi poster to put up. Uh, just debating where to put it up for the time being. Um, I'm going to see how thick it is on the wall and I might actually put it underneath the yin and yang sign because I've got another uh, permanent marker to go ahead and complete that today. This one here I want to save for a picture of the uh, Koi farm and then I need to get another piece of artwork for over the side. I have got some artwork coming down from Qualdrop to put up on the walls and I've also need to get tinkering with this tank today and actually go ahead and get the sand all installed. But let me snap back to you in a second once I've had my breakfast and I've tidied up my dump of a desk. Let's go. Okay, so water changes are all being done. Uh, we're up to that end back there. We've got another two more left to do. Uh, I've just put my filter boxes on for the time being. Uh, I just need to get April to nip down to tool station for me so I can get some 40 mil ends. So I'm gonna put a 40 mil right angle on, tube coming down, 40 mil right angle on the bottom. So you, you get rid of that running water effect, but already it's polishing the water, it's cleaning it up nice. Obviously the filter bottles are already cycled, these are gonna stay in, because it's a fantastic uh, biological filtration. And uh, then obviously we've got biological and mechanical in these, but my main man Vince over at uh, Twisted Koi is doing me an uplift uh, for these boxes here. And we also have this new aquarium product to try it as well. 
There are some uh, different ones on the market already, but what makes this one uh, so special is the fact that it's all one self-contained unit. You've got your K1 Micromedia there in the middle, and you've also got a sponge in the bottom there that you can actually swap out for some of the uh, porous bio balls, which are these Prime or Hyper um, down here. So again, we're going to be doing a full review and analysis on this on the channel over a sort of four or five week period. Uh, so it's going to be super duper cool and interesting to do. Um, customers just dropped me off some angelfish, uh, some koi angelfish, male and female. So I'm just getting these guys drip acclimated in now. Um, by the time the drip acclimation has finished, uh, the temperature acclimation will have finished as well because they are going to be going from here into there. The room is heated as opposed to each individual aquarium. I've also started moving some fish out of here. So this rack is now empty. Uh, this one's now empty. The top one's now empty. And I need to go ahead and move these guys out. Move these guys out, move the angel fish out and move these guys out and so but surely move them down along onto these aquariums. I need to go ahead and order two more three foot aquariums to be able to fill the gap in here. And I need to put some heat sticks on the bottom because the top tanks are holding at about 22 to 23 degrees. The top tanks are holding about 24 to 26, uh, but the bottom ones are sat uh, at around 20 or so degrees. So my bottom ones, I want to go ahead and put some heat sticks in um, just to keep those guys up to temperature. But so far looking good. I've moved some of the orange mollies in here with the stir boys. Uh, we've got the red platies here in the middle and also we've got the honey gouramis and I've moved the uh, head and tail light tetras into here as well. Uh, each one of the tanks for biosecurity now has its own net. So no nets will be mixed between tanks, obviously massively, massively increasing the biosecurity uh, of reef aquatics, which is absolutely amazing. Six foot tank is doing tremendously well. Uh, I've also been trialing out some new food bags um, for when we do the fry spawn video of 2022. Okay, so all water change is done. Some of the fish fed. I've gone ahead. Um, I put the pipe work on the bottom there, like I say, just to dampen the noise down. That's massively going to be oxygenating the water, which is superb. The carrot is improving dramatically already. There's my big Jim Rin Saragoy. Uh, this one's got two pipes on, uh, has got a little bit of a leak, but it just drops straight on down into the water. I've left these guys open at the top here, just in case they have a block up. They can then spill over, same with that one there. I've put my other poster up in the middle, Sankey, Showa, Tancho, Kahaku, Shiro Atsuri and Tancho Asagi. Um, I figured it would have been too difficult to do the yin and yang. Uh, plus I think it looks really nice on there. I do need to get some more posters for the front of all the vats, just explaining what each individual fish is. And still gotta get the sand for six foot tank. Obviously we've got the new addition here, which is the uh, Red Texas Cichlid. Here she is in all of her glory. Super interesting, super interactive fish. Looks absolutely superb. Um, I've already started moving around some of the fish onto the back wall. Uh, a lovely customer of mine has just gone ahead and dropped me off two angelfish male and female pairs so we can actually get those guys spawning very, very soon. Um, just moved over the red phantoms down here at the moment. Moved over my cherry barbs on into here. Um, the water's a little bit cloudy because they've just stirred up all the substrate. Um, so I've literally got this rack here, uh, this tank here in this whole rack. These are a mixture of fish that Hannah the Brave brought over. So we've got some really, really big guppies in there. Uh, some real big mollies as well. So I'm probably going to set them up for a spawn. Uh, this tank's empty. This tank, this tank, this tank. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That will be the 13th one that's empty. 14, 15, 16. Uh, so we've got 16 tanks that's empty. Uh, 17 and 18. Obviously, want to get them to in as well. Uh, uh, you guys keep sharing mad love and mad support, so I appreciate that. But like I said to you, I'll snap back when my fish delivery arrives. Appreciate it, it's a, it's a little bit manic on this video, but it is a week in the fish room, a day in the life of, if you like. Uh, so you guys get to see all the stuff that I get up to and what actually keeps this channel going. Um, ready to take the rug rats off rock climbing, so that should be pretty fun. Uh, and I need to get a load of stuff on the website as well. So stick around to the end on that one, we'll probably give something away.
So we clip and climb. Rocky wants to show everyone his Spider Man move. Come on then, Spider-Man, there you go. Kota, jump off. Jump off. Okay, so it's currently Monday evening in the fish room. Uh, went out to B&Q today and bought this stand, 68 quid. Ben and Victoria went down for me to grab it. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to build a step on here across the bottom so people can actually step up and see the shrimp in the top tank and we've got the middle tank and this tank. What, I'm actually, what I was originally going to do was divide this tank down into three but I'm now actually going to go ahead and divide it down into four segments. I'm going to get some tank dividers, some solid ones and put them in, silicone them all in through and then I'm actually going to be going ahead and getting these bad boys cycled. Uh, each one of these shells holds uh, 250 kilos worth of weight the actual weight of the aquariums themselves, once they're full of water, is only going to sit at 140 kilos. So I've actually got an extra uh, 100 kilos per shelf, or 110 kilos per shelf extra. No, I haven't. I've got 90. My math's terrible. 90 kilos per shelf left over. Um, obviously, I've got different little hang points on here. So I can try and put some stuff onto and things like that. Uh, we've got space to be able to clip the lighting in underneath, which is super duper cool. Um, we've also had David Coybloke, channel link above. Finally come down and drop the Black Country flag off for me. Uh, big, big love for that brother, do appreciate ya. Uh, shop is like a grenade's gone off at the moment because it's a Monday uh, and I've had the kids with it being half term. So I've got the wheelie bin in. I'm gonna sort some of these bad boys out down here, get all that sorted out. I'm gonna set up the Xbox as well. So my new channel name's gonna be The Balding Reefer. Um, got some new angel fish as well. They've settled in nicely. Uh, but tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and go collect the fish delivery. So next time you see this pretty little face, there's going to be a lot more fish. Let's go! Okay, so we just thought we'd check the uh, crebensis to see if these guys have actually spawned. She's and as you can them. see there, Mama's going over uh, to all of the babies. So she's just going to be corralling them all and putting them back into the group. She will hold some of them in the mouth and then spit them back in. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, drop the pot back above them. Um, and then Mom will get straight back underneath and actually begin to, uh, to raise these guys on. So again... The French breeder strikes again. So there we go. We've also reset the GBR tank. So we've got the uh, male and the female in. We've got rid of the methylene blue, but like I say, it does stain things a tinge of blue. That's why it still looks a little bit blue in here. What we're going to do this time is when they lay again, we're going to get mom. And dad, I'm going to separate them off to the side. Uh, but it's great news about the Cubensis uh, that they've now spawned, which is superb. Um, but yeah, just in the process of, like I say, tidying up the bomb site. Uh, my brother's creating me my new Xbox account. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I've put some clipboards up on the wall. I've put the quad drop bags up on the wall as well. Uh, had, a, had a good old tidy up and a good old brush through. But let me snap back to you tomorrow when the fish are here. Promise, next shot, fish will be here. Okay, as promised, next shot was fish. Let me just go ahead and cut into these, one-handed. It'd help if my scissors were sharp. Yeah, there we go. Let me cut this side. Let's open these bad boys up. Where's the joint? There it is. Nope. Bear with. That's one bit sort of open. The next box I will do uh, off camera and then I'll open it up and then snap matching them on camera. But this is the cold water box. Because we need some cold water stuff in the shop for you. So these are the mixed Ryukin goldfish. 
pretty cool. Let me just float these bad boys in there. These are the red cap uh, telescope eyes. So there's four of them bad boys. Float them in there. Yeah, you can see them an awful lot better in there. Googly eyes. Uh, what else do we got? Here we go. Uh, mixed ranchu. So we've got four different types of ranchus. Um, so again, we'll get these guys floating. Obviously, we're heating the room. The lower fish tanks here on the bottom run colder than the top two tiers. So I'm just leaving floating in the bag there for 10, 15 minutes and I'll drip acclimate them all in. Uh, we can drop that down there. Let me get this on here, open it up. Then I can show you what we've got because we have got some super, super interesting stuff. Okay, so the next box, or should we say the last box. So, oh, these are some more goldies that we've got. So again, leave them bad boys floating on in there. Again, you can see them an awful lot better in there. So we've got a lot of cold water stuff. Uh, we've got the fire mouth cichlids. So these guys are pretty cool. So big shout out to Gazi's Koi Pong, convinced me to get these to do a little bit of a spawning project with them. Um, but we'll leave these bad boys floating on in. I'll tell you what, we'll do them there in the middle, eh? So there they are, floating away in there. What else have we got? We have the GBR Rams, electric blues. So we'll leave these floating in this one here. Oh, if I can get them underneath. There we go. So again, leave them bad boys floating in that. What else have we got, folks? Uh, these are a form of cichlid. I can't remember off the top of my head which ones these are. Oh, these are the green acaras. So these are the green acaras. Obviously, they are looking pretty washed out at the moment, simply due to the fact that obviously they've uh, just been transported back across. So again, we'll leave them bad boys floating away in there. Let them do the thing. Will you stop? I'm on video. Daddy. Wait, mate. Two seconds. Can I want to the yes. What? Okay. The next ones. These are the triple red agazizes. Again, just waiting to colour up on them. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll put the triple reds in here because I am going to move out the red platies from here. So again, I can get these guys acclimating in. And again, you can see them an awful, awful lot better in there. But within a couple of hours, these guys will be acclimated all in, looking superb. Brooklyn's chilling on the big blow up dog. Uh, I'm going to save this one till last because these are super interesting. Uh, okay, the next ones are the rainbow sharks. So these uh, appear to be super, super popular. So, Brooklyn, if you want to lift that flap up for me. Again, we'll get the rainbow sharks acclimating on in there. Again, super duper cool. Uh, the black coloration will come back in, so they'll look like that in no time at all. What else have we got, folks? Okay. We have got the Tetras. So we've got the Tetras. These are the uh, Phantom Tetras, the Red Phantoms. Um, so again, we move the Red Phantoms over to here so we can get them floating in there. Let me just pick this one up. Oh, no, I can't get them in the top. So what we'll do is we'll leave them floating in a different enclosure. So we'll drop them in there. So again, the red phantoms. Again, these will colour up really nice really soon. The six foot tank, by the way, is on a full blackout because we've got a little bit of cyanobacteria. Oh, there's more. There is more, mate. A lot more. Uh, so we've got the, rum the rummy nose tetras. The ruby nose tetras are here. They are indeed. So they're just here. So we'll now have another shoal. Bear with me. Yes, you can get this one in. 
Yeah, you can. There you go. So they're in. So we'll have a full shoal of 20 now. That's so again, just leave those guys to temperature come out. That's a lot of temperatures, Daddy. It is indeed, isn't it? And then we have the ever so popular target togger bobs. So we'll get these bad boys uh, acclimating away. Uh, well, I was going to put them in there with the green tigers, but what I'll actually probably do is just drop these guys in here. Let them do their thing. It's all right, buddy. Daddy will do it. And then last but not least... The ghost knife fish, ladies and gentlemen. That's one of my favourite fish I've ever Super had. interesting, aren't they, son? Yeah. So the ghost knife fish looking absolutely insane. Um, what we will actually thing. probably do with the ghost knife fish is we'll put them in this here as like a uh, a centre attraction kind of fish. It looks really They look good. absolutely awesome. They're my favourite fish. Yeah. And BJ boys call my fish at home. Yeah. They're so there we go. Oh. Camera's in the way, hands in the way of the camera. So there we go. We're going to get all these guys acclimated on in to another little reshuffle round uh, of some of the aquarium fish. And I will see you in two seconds. So the video's already quite a long one because it has been a two week catch up. It is supposed to be coming out on Thursday, but it's actually Tuesday night when I'm releasing this. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this kind of content. Let me know if you guys want to see some more of this kind of content. I, for one, really, really enjoy giving you a sort of day in the life of the Balding Reef, if you like, in regards to what entails in running a fish store and what I also get up to uh, with my day job as well. It's been absolutely fantastic and insane. Thank you very much for the love and support. Uh, we're so close to 3,000 subscribers. We are going to be doing a 3K giveaway when we do get to the 3,000 subscribers, so make sure you are following me along for that one. Um, other than that, the website where all this stuff is going to be available is reeferaquatics.com. Uh, popping up just down here and also down in the video description down below as well. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, which is at the Balding Reefer. Instagram is at the dot balding dot reefer. But other than that, stay safe, stay sane. Most important people, stay happy. Balding Reefer out.